Hey scientists, let's talk about heat today. You deal with heat all the time. You've probably hopped into the shower when the water was too hot. You've probably burned your fingers on the stove, oven, or toaster. And you've certainly been outside and felt the sun warm your skin on a hot day. But what is heat? When we talk about heat in science, we're usually talking about the movement of thermal energy from one object to another. Heat always moves from a warm object with more thermal energy to a cooler object with less thermal energy. There are three ways that thermal energy or heat can move. It can move through conduction, convection, or radiation. Conduction is when heat travels from one object to another object through contact. A great example of conduction is when you have a pot or pan on the stove and the handle of the pot or pan gets hot. The thermal energy source is only under one area of the pan, but the heat travels through the pot to the handle. It would also be conduction if you burnt your hand on the stove. Conduction often happens across solids, specifically solids that are conductors, like metals. Conductors let heat and energy travel through them easily. That's why we use metal for things like pots, pans, and electrical wire. Convection happens when we have liquids or gases heating up, which causes the molecules inside the liquid or gas to rise and fall as they heat and cool. A great example of convection is a lava lamp. As the wax lava heats up, it moves up towards the top of the liquid of the lamp. But as it transfers all of its thermal energy and has less heat, the wax falls back down to the bottom of the lamp. This also happens in the hot magma in the mantle of the earth. As the magma heats up and loses heat, the magma creates large cycles of moving liquid rock, which causes the earth crust to move. Radiation happens when heat is transmitted without any actual contact between objects. Radiation flows through empty space and uses electromagnetic waves. A big example of radiation is when the sun's electromagnetic waves heat your skin. Radiation also happens when you sit around a campfire. Without touching the fire, you can feel the heat of the flames radiating towards you. A lot of times these three words can be really confusing, but the best way to remember which one is which is to imagine heating a pot of hot boiling water on a fire. The heat from the flames is radiation. The pot getting hot and heating a pot's handle, as well as heating the water, is conduction. And the water molecules heating up rising, losing heat, and falling in the pot is convection. The steam vapors moving up from the pot also represent convection. Different substances react differently to different amounts of heat. Some substances, like water, only require small amounts of heat to change states from a solid to a liquid to a gas, while other substances, like steel and most metals, require lots of heat to change states. In metals like steel, we can add a lot of heat without them melting. When steel gets hot, but well before it melts, it starts to expand. And when it loses heat and contracts, it shrinks back down. During hot summer days, railroad tracks actually grow because of the metal expanding. And this is also why if you place a hot cookie sheet into really cold water, it bends and warps as the metal contracts again into its original shape and size. Let's take a look at some questions. 